Thanks for being here with me. Lots of love and many blessings your way. Thank you. I want to talk louder about these people here at Kima. They're over here and they don't want me to talk. I did this once and I heard them complaining. It wasn't loud. It's just we have a small partition between us. Anyway, I wanted to give you a health update. I hope you can hear me. And I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm talking low. But anyway... Um, so I went to the optometrist yesterday to check on this eye and how it's drooped for like a year almost. And the doctor over the television told me to ask my sales coordinator. She's a salesperson. What would she know about my drooping eye? I didn't know. So this place is called Eye Lab. I didn't know you seen a doctor over the television screen. I would have never gone there if that was the case. But $375 later, <laughs> I've, I've been suckered. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm wiping my nose. But um, I went to my oncologist yesterday, and my numbers are down. My cancer numbers went from 268 to 36. And I'm super excited about that. Yes, ma'am. That's that woman. She has been thought I was leaving a voicemail earlier when I did this the first time and she's like oh she's leaving a voicemail she was very rotten about it anyway it's neither here nor there it's their problem not mine you know I'm not like hooting and hollering anyway so back when I was in the hospital I weighed 99.9 pounds that's crazy I started at 200 pounds so you can imagine and so I asked my surgeon, I said, can I get a feeding tube? I mean, there's no way I can eat. I've had either chemo or long COVID has distorted my taste. Everything tastes rotten, even ice cream and cookies. And so it's hard for me to eat. I probably have 10 pounds of food in 10 months. Truly, maybe less. And so he was all for it. Um, but the doctor there at the hospital said, no, it's reserved for people who can't swallow. And so my surgeon overrode what the doctor said. And 12 hours later, he put me in a, a feeding tube. And I've gained 15 pounds already in a month. And I'm so grateful. And at this rate, I'm hoping to be 160 by August, at least. Anyway, I'm super excited. I'm gaining weight and I'm feeling stronger. And my numbers are down. That is a blessing, and I'm going to tell you, it's because of you guys. It's because of all of the prayers, all of the well wishes, God has been with me this entire time. Miss Celeste has sent me a card. Every other day I get a card from Miss Celeste. I absolutely adore her. She is so good to me. She loves me so much. She prays for me and fasts for me every day, and I love her so much. And I couldn't get through this without support like that. You know, you guys, from y'all, from her, it's just been awesome. And I, I give all the glory to God. I give all the glory to God. He's walked with me. He's been with me. He's been with you guys here in your prayers. He's been with Miss Celeste here in her prayers. It's just been a miracle. It's been wonderful. And I, I asked my oncologist yesterday, I said, so my numbers are down. This isn't a death sentence right now. And she said, no way, I wouldn't call it a death sentence. Back in October, the doctors, the hospital, two of them told me to go home, call hospice, and die with grace. They sent me home to die in October. And I wasn't about to go. I thought, I'm not ready to go. I'm 46. Not even 47 yet. And I want to make it to 47. I know they have, and they have I'm not ready to go. I want to spend time with my boys. Yeah. My whole life is centered around my kids. Nobody but my kids. Not a man. Nobody. But my kids. And I don't want to be without my kids. And I don't want to leave them here right now. I want to be with them for a while. They're talking loud. 
Anyway, <laughs> the doctors don't know how I'm even still here. I've had sepsis. I've had CDF. I've had um, those things in my stomach that burst through my back. Abscess. I've had three surgeries in five days. I've had another couple of surgeries in a matter of two days. I mean, I've really been through the ringer. And I don't know why, but I'm still here and I praise God for it. And I thank God He has walked with me every step of the way. And that He sent me, you guys. It means a lot to me because you can tell who's there for you genuinely and who's not. When you tell somebody you're going through something like this, they either leave or they get closer. And you guys have done nothing but get closer. And I love you for it. Every one of you, I love you. Every one. I love you so much. And I appreciate y'all so much. I'm so grateful. And Miss Celeste, I love you so, so much. I'm so, so grateful. And all my friends, Shoshana and Peter, I couldn't do this without you guys. Y'all have been wonderful to me. And Pam and Missy, I love y'all so much. Holly, everybody. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up and I'll, I'll see you soon and I'll update you again. Okay.